Now, speaking of providing proof, Israeli Ambassador to the UN and United States Gilad Erdan meeting with the heads of the Associated Press in New York, providing evidence of Hamas's activities in the Al Jala Tower in Gaza, which housed both the AP and Al Jazeera teams before being targeted by Israel in May. Israel destroying the building during the 11-day conflict with Hamas last month, arguing that Hamas operatives were using offices in the building to develop a jamming system meant to disrupt Israel's Iron Dome missile defenses. No casualties were reported in the strike. Still, despite reporting a positive and constructive conversation with Erdan, the AP is claiming that it has not yet seen any sufficient evidence of Israel's allegations. Here to discuss, Director of the American Jewish Committee and former head of the IDF Spokesperson's Foreign Media Unit, Lieutenant Colonel in the Reserves, Avital Libovich. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel, thank you so much for being with us now. Uh, Gilad Erdan is saying that he, uh, he coordinated with the IDF to declassify enough materials to give to the AP. The AP is saying that, they're, that they've not been given anything, or at least not enough. What do you make of this? Well, uh, since I've been through so many uh, IDF operations in Gaza, I can tell you that this is not the first time we have been seeing and witnessing Hamas using civilian uh, facilities, such as the international media buildings. There are a few of them in Gaza. And I remember that time and time again, Hamas has been using them in routine times as well as in emergency times. As a matter of fact, I can refer you to many interviews I gave in 2012, this is nine years ago, in which I explained to the foreign media, again, regarding this building and how Hamas actually spread a whole network of uh, uh, antennas on the rooftop of the building in order to provide for its own uh, terroristic purposes. This was nine years ago. So this is not something new. I and I'm not under, I really do not understand how the AP CEO uh, uh, has the idea that there is no connection between Hamas and the media building. Uh, I think that the IDF could have done better providing the proof in real times rather than uh, in a delay of a couple of weeks. I guess it has to do with some kind of uh, uh, intelligence uh, uh, reasons. Uh, but at the end of the day, this is no surprise. Hamas has been using for decades civilian infrastructure for its own needs. Well, so more, more to what you were just talking about in terms of how the IDF might be able to do a better job. Uh, the IDF declassified intelligence for Erdan to show to the Associated Press. Why not declassify enough to be released to the general public? Because so far the general public has not seen what Erdan claims to have shown the AP either. Well, I think that uh, I did see actually uh, the IDF uh, uh, releasing some sort of information immediately after Erdan's meeting. I guess it has to do again with intelligence capabilities. There is always a dilemma. On the one hand, there's the thirst of the public to hear and learn uh, and see the proof immediately. And on the other hand, there are intelligence sources which you don't want to burn, really, uh, because they are the ones who provide information. So there's always a very delicate balance between these two factors. And, and I understand that in this situation, the same balance uh, took place again. But I think it's sufficient that a democratic country like Israel comes forward and explains what kind of infrastructure Hamas has built in the building publicly, officially, I think that should be uh, a sufficient reason to, to understand uh, the need to take down this facility. All right, so going back to the, to the AP, the IDF and Gilad Erdan both made clear that they no longer believe the journalists were really aware that their Hamas neighbors were in the building. You're, you're saying that that's not necessarily true. How do we know? Yeah, it's not necessarily true because you have to keep in mind that in addition to AP, there were also other many local uh, freelancers and journalists uh, using these, these offices in the building. And think about it logically. It's a tall building. You take the elevator every day to work. You don't see Hamas people in the elevator with you or surrounding you or parking their cars downstairs next to your car. Seems to me kind of uh, odd. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, not see any Hamas member hanging around the building for years and years. Now, keep in mind, this is not only hap this did not only happen for the 11 days of operation in Gaza. This was prepared well, well in advance. So for a very long time, this infrastructure has been built, including meetings of commanders there and different kinds of uh, uh, um, uh, 
I would say professionals who brought their, uh, their, their specific material there. So I just find it very hard to believe that no one ever have seen Hamas terrorists in the building. All right, Lieutenant Colonel Avital Libovich, thank you so much. Thank you.